97.1, the fan. How y'all doing? Yeah. All the young players that you guys are playing, you feel like the team has a good grasp of the, the playbook. Like, are you able to use all the pages that you have right now? Uh, I feel like we're developing every day. We just try to come into the meeting room um, every day, try to get better, learn from the film, learn from our last week's game, and just apply what we learned in the classroom on the field. Uh, we try to get game reps and middle reps. So when you see a guy take a rep, you know, on the field, you got to be watching because you may run the same uh, same play right after that. That brings up a good point. You know, you hear a lot of reporters sometimes talk about running backs getting into a rhythm, quarterbacks getting into a rhythm. You guys have a very deep rotational wide receiver. How tough is it to get in a rhythm, and is that necessary? Uh, we that we take pride in having a, a a deep rotation. It gives a lot of guys the chance to show what they can do because we have a lot of guys in that room that have that ability to play. Um, at Ohio State. So we all want to just make plays when we're in there. Um, you may only get one touch. You may only get one target. Uh, you may only get a certain amount of plays. But when you're in there, you, we expect no drop off from the ones to the uh, next guy in the rotation. Everybody's expected to uh, compete and ex execute at a high level. So there's no frustration with that at all? You guys rotated like 12 guys on Saturday. Not everyone touched the ball, obviously, right. like you said. I mean, Wide receivers kind of want the ball. Right. I mean, every everybody wants to make plays. That's just how you are as a competitor coming to Ohio State. Um, but seeing KJ Hill make that play, I was as happy as if I would have made the play. You know what I mean? We know uh, our unit and how hard we work. So seeing the other guy make the play, um, you just got to be happy for him and be ready if your number is called. What do you know about Tulsa's defense? Um, we're studying real hard. Um, I'm not going to give any details, but uh, we just know they're going to come at us. They're going to give us their best, so we're just going to come out and, um, you know, try to execute better than we did last week, um, try to put up some points. Hey, Terry, who's the fastest guy on the team? <laughs> uh, I get that question a lot. Um, I probably Denzel, but I'm, I'm definitely in there. Curtis, he got the fastest man on Saturday. Uh, we were a little GPSs, um, so Curtis was the fastest guy on Saturday, but, you know, pound for pound is probably Denzel Ward. What are those things? You put them on, like, on your pads? Yeah. Your pads? Yep. So um, we have little GPSs that track how fast we're running. Mostly the guys on kickoff, but a lot of the skill positions see how fast they're running. Um, so you could definitely tell. I think Curtis was like 22 miles an hour or something like that. What were you? So, uh, they didn't say he was the fastest. So I'm, I'm probably up there. We try to get everybody, um, especially on kickoff. If you're on kickoff, they expect you to be 20 miles an hour or faster. So everybody on there. You repping the defense with a silver bullets shirt? Uh, I, I rep everybody. I'm all, all Ohio State, so whatever the EQ gives me, I, I'm going to wear it. Do they ever catch anybody with the loaf thing that you guys talk about? Is that part of it? The loaf chart? Yeah. Uh, we like have to have that underneath your pad, so if you're running 17 miles an hour, everybody else is running 22 <laughs> miles an hour? Oh, uh, actually, we watch that in special teams meetings, so uh, you're going to be called out if you're not you know, at our expectation. So as long as you're giving all you can, that's one thing, but if you're out there loafing, um, you know, all your teammates are going to know about it. Your number one source for sports, 97.1, The Fan.